Hi there, I'm Captain Tyler Capella and welcome to the Waterman's Way YouTube channel. So today we're going to be talking about tackle and the ideal setups for my favorite fish in the entire world, the tarpon. So I've got a beach setup and then one for everything else. I'm going to walk you through how to rig them up and exactly what you need so you can go out there and catch a big silver king yourself. Let's get into it. So the first setup we're gonna go over is the beach setup. Now that is my absolute favorite way to catch them is sight fishing, tarpon on the beach. It really doesn't get better than that. So you wanna have the ideal tackle. And for me, day in and day out, this is the setup that I use right here. This is an eight foot Shimano Terramar extra heavy rod. They have a bit of a limber tip and plenty of backbone on them. A Shimano Saragossa a 14,000. Now, if you're gonna go all out, the Shimano Stella is definitely the way to go, that bad boy right there. But bang for your buck, you really can't go wrong with the Shimano Sirico. So they're you know, just under $300, and that is a hell of a real great drag system and uh, really good gears on that thing as well. Now, I loaded up with 65-pound cast X12 casting braid. So I literally have it on every single one of my spinning reels. The cast braid is really the way to go. And the reason I do, and the reason I like it so much, so this is the only braid pretty much out there you're gonna find that has 12 strands of braid, right? So Power Pro, J Braid, all down the line, they're either made with eight strands or eight strand and one core. Well, because there's only a couple machines in the world that can do a 12 strand braid, uh, and the cast is one of them, this line is actually about 70% of the size of just about any other braid out there on the market. Plus it is super, super smooth, but it's, just as strong right so you get a lot more line on the spool and you can cast so much farther it is really unbelievable stuff this thing holds about 400 yards of 65 pound now like i said casting on the beach is of the utmost importance and you know some guys will go down to 50 or even 30 on a smaller reel but guess what you're gonna fight a big fish for an hour and a half two hours plus sometimes and that's really not good for the fish so I like to, this is gonna cast amazing and as well as uh, put plenty of pressure on the fish out there to get them in quick. Even a 200 pounder, you sh really shouldn't fight for much more than an hour. If you're fighting them for two hours plus, you're either not doing it right or you don't have the right tackle. All right, so let me show you what we're doing for the rigging here a little bit. So we go 65 pound braid to an FG knot. Now FG knot is the only thing that I use for tarpon fishing and so many other types of fishing because there's no knot in the fluorocarbon leader itself. It's basically a Chinese finger trap kind of thing. It just grips down on the line, making a 100% strength knot that slides right through the guides. And I also, I use about a 12 foot section of 60 pound leader most of the time. And I like to have as long as I possibly can without the leader going onto the spool itself. Because if that fluorocarbon gets onto the spool, it'll want to jump off of there. So I like to have that knot when I'm casting about right there. And that's about a 12 foot uh, section of leader. So that will allow me to kind of wrangle the fish as they get a little bit closer. And it's a lot less visible than the braided line in the water, which is really important for those spooky fish. So 12 foot section of that, I'll go to my circle hook here which is a Palomar knot to a BKK Mitsu light circle hook. Now the size of the circle hook really depends on the bait, right? So if you're using a really small crab, something that's about that size, we go down to a 5.0 sometimes and it, it keeps that crab alive. It doesn't pin them down real bad and they'll be nice and lively out there. And you kind of just work your way all the way up and then about eight o is about the biggest hook that I use, maybe on a big crab or a big threadfin herring. But those are great hooks. They're super sharp, super strong, and they, they really, it takes a lot to bend one of those hooks out. So that's the, uh, the beach setup right there. Perfect for the beach. Now, the next setup is what I would use for just about every other type of fishing, whether it's the bridge, you know, the famous hill tides drifting through the passes or uh, out there in the middle of the bay when the big schools are out there. I like to use something that's a little bit beefier. Uh, this Mojo Salt, now it's, this is a medium power, but it's actually a bit heavier than the other rod. It's, this thing is, is a, you know, has a broomstick of a butt and a soft tip. It's got a little bit more of a parabolic action. Uh, I feel like that's just really, really good. You can put some serious pressure and really rare back on them with this rod here. It's the same size reel, the 14,000 Saragossa. 
uh, but I have 80 pound test instead of 65. I have 80 pound on my bridge and pass setup. That's simply because, you know, if the fish gets around the bridge, you got a little bit more insurance where that line may not break if it does it. Or if the fish goes back into the school, starts bouncing off all the other fish down there, you've got a little bit more insurance down there where it's not going to pop the line. And, you know, out there in those situations, you really don't have to cast it quite as far. You're not like bombing a cast and sight fishing. You're kind of just letting the crab or the bait fish go in the current. So casting is not as important as it is on the beach. That's why I like to go with 80 pound. Same setup, an FG knot, 12 foot section a liter to your hook. The hook, you can use the same hook, but I, I really like in these situations, the uh, BKK heavy circle. Uh, this hook right here is just unbelievably strong. I mean, this thing, we've caught some absolute giants over the last couple of years on this hook and it's always held true. Uh, it, I've never pulled one straight. They're tremendously strong and sharp and will definitely do the job. Uh, and that's pretty much it for your setup. So you've got 80 pound test, 14,000 Saragossa on the uh, St. Croix Mojo Salt medium <laughs> on the, the heavier one. Oh, my bobber's running away there. And then you've got the 14,000 Saragossa, a Terramar eight foot extra heavy and 65 pound cast braid on that one, both with 60 pound leaders. Again, they're sketchy, you go down to 50, that's fine. And uh, tweak that hook to the size of your bait you get those two setups out there and you're ready to rock, unless you really want to ball out and get the Stella. That's the way to go. But those Saragossas are the deal for uh, for the price. All right, so these are the two setups. If you plan on getting out there for tarpon season, this is basically all you need to go out there and catch the biggest fish around. I mean, we caught one last year on this exact setup right here that measured to over the state record. So it was somewhere in the 250 pound class, believe it or not, I'll post a picture of it here and show you. But uh, yeah, these two setups are ready to go. If you have any questions about how to rig them or anything about the rods and reels, just shoot me a comment. If you like what you see, like and subscribe to the Waterman's Way channel. I'm gonna have a ton more tarpon content coming at you on how to catch them on the beach, what to look for, how to rig, you name it. I'm gonna go over everything that I know and post it to my tarpon series coming up. So check that out and we will catch you on the next one.